Hi there. In this video, we'll be looking at what to do if your project doesn't have enough input or output pins. There are two solutions. The first one is a fairly simple solution if you don't have to use these analog input pins, A0 to A5. There are six pins here, and they can be used as digital input and output pins if you refer to them as such in your sketch. So here's the page uh, that is linked in the, uh, on the course website. It's an instructable, how to add six extra pins to your Arduino with no extra hardware. So there are, as, as I explained, six extra outputs. You can get these to work just by referring them to them as pins 14 to 19. So if you want to, say, output an LED on analog 0, you just refer to it as pin 14, as in here. You set the pin mode of the pin you want, pin 14, to output, and then you simply write it. So there's a sketch called Extra Digital Pins Demo. Here it is here. And it just explains that pin 14, 15, 16 are the, uh, using the analog input pins. So in this, we've got uh, a lead pin, which is defined as 14. This is really the same thing as the simple blink sketch, except we've just changed one thing. We've just changed lead pin from 13 to 14. So let's put that together and see if it works. I'm going to upload it so it'll be ready to go. So we'll connect our ground and plus 5 volts. <clears throat> and we'll connect our LED to ground and add a resistor. And then plug in to A0, which we've defined as pin 15. And there it is. The next uh, item of business is to talk about the difference between serial and parallel communication between the Arduino and your other devices. If, for example, you have an Arduino and you just uh, have, you have your digital pins, D0, D1, 2, 3, four, five, and so on, and they run out to either one device or several LEDs. They're coming out of the Arduino in parallel. And the advantage of that is, relatively speaking, speed. Uh, and you can do it very, very directly, but you use up lots of pins. The other way of doing it is to, here's your Arduino, specify one pin, say it's D3, and output your signals in serial format to another device 
which outputs collects them and outputs them in parallel. So you're sending pulses indicating ones and zeros. In, in most cases it's 8 bits. So you've got an 8-bit serial to parallel converter which is a separate chip and that converter takes each of these, brings them in, and presents them to your module or your other devices in a parallel fashion. This would be bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. The disadvantage of this is that it takes time for each bit to get accumulated by the uh, converter, the serial to parallel converter. But the advantage is you use many fewer digital ports on your Arduino. So uh, your kit comes with a device called a 74HC595. I think that's the number. 74HC595. Let me just check that. Yeah. Right. And I've made a circuit here. And I'll just draw it quickly. What we've got here. It's basically the same as this. Each one of these is an LED. We've got eight LEDs and I'm using one signal and several other control lines. You can get away with only using three, a signal and then two control lines. I'm actually using two others because uh, on reset it flashes and the two other two control lines um, disable the display uh, until it's ready to show. So um, you could do it with three, I'm doing it with five. Between three and five you can replace five uh, and have you can have five outputs from the Arduino and get eight, uh, eight LEDs or eight different devices that you can drive with this extra piece of, of hardware. And it really is, uh, it probably costs 50 cents. So if you can spend the time wiring it up and making sure that the software works with it, you can really economize on your uh, data outputs or inputs and um, work on, uh, have a fairly comprehensive, um, comprehensive uh, project going using very few outputs. So here it is. Now it's not actually programmed. I haven't uh, uploaded the, uh, the sketch to the UNO, but let me just show you quickly uh, what's going on. So I have, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, five lines going to the 595 chip the lines on the top are control for the most part and the lines on the bottom are your outputs. They're outputs to drive these LEDs. The LEDs are, uh, are configured so that the line comes out of the 595 
it goes through a resistor, then the LED to ground. Here's a, a table that explains the uh, uh, 595. It comes from a page which I've got a link, uh, link to the course website, Serial to Parallel Shifting Out with the 74HC595. And uh, these are basically the control pins. There's one uh, Q0, Q is often used as the output, um, way to specify outputs. So Q0 is here. Q1, Q2, Q3, and so on. When you look at these chips, you may see either a, a, a dot, an embossed dot, or a little chunk uh, out of one end. And that indicates that the pin 1 is on that side. Let's uh, take a look at another chip, just for the sake of illustration. So here's an example. This is a 4016 chip, but you can see that there's a little notch here as well as a dot. So this is pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 numbered in a counterclockwise manner. On almost all chips, this is the plus five or the positive voltage, and this one is the ground. So here's our uh, shift out demo. This is the um, uses the 574HC595, and what it does is it counts from 0 to 255 in binary. So uh, there's a pin, pin uh, 9, digital output 9, is the connected to the MR pin of the 595. The OE pin is connected to uh, digital 10. And then there's a latch pin, a clock pin, and the data, 8, 12, and 11. So it sets up the outputs. The uh, MR is master reclear, and it is set high at setup, which clears all the registers on the 595. It, it turns all of the registers to zero and then it enables the outputs. Uh, if you don't do this, then on reset, you may get a flash of the LEDs. Once this is done, it's ready to count from binary zero. So this is one uh, binary byte. Each number is one bit. So we count up from binary 0 to binary 111111, which is decimal 0 to 255. And at the end of this, once we've uh, shifted out the, inf the data through the data pen to the 595, it's latched by the 595, and then when, once it's latched, it's presented to the LEDs, and the LEDs uh, change their state. There's a delay of 200 milliseconds, and uh, then it goes to the next number. So it counts up from 0 to 255. When it gets to 255, it resets back to 0. So we'll uh, upload it. and then we'll view. So here it is, it's counting up.
Now, if I press, so it's, it's going to do a complete reset in a moment, but I'm going to reset the Arduino. And it now starts at the beginning. You can do all of this with uh, the parts in your kit. Uh, there aren't eight LEDs of the same color, so I've combined reds with yellows. The 595 is in your kit. The resistors, 220 ohm resistors, or something larger, uh, you have enough in your kit, as well as the jumper cables. So have fun, and see you next time.